Hello, Krix is here and welcome to this week's video. This is part two of my fountain pen video and this week I am showing you the swatches from the inks and I'm also just doing like cozy drawing session with you all. Okay, um, hello to this swatching session. As you know, I bought recently a lot of fountain pen inks and I decided to swatch them out in this piece of paper and I actually this is not my idea. Someone else was swatching uh, fountain pen inks in these bottles, so I decided to draw my own and swatch them with these uh, cotton buds. I will start with this Rochner and Klinger sepia color. I like this ink a lot. I tried it already, so um, we'll be using a lot in the future <laughs> drawing and writing. When I'm writing with it, it's usually darker, so I'm gonna put the bottom layer a little bit darker. I'm gonna write down ink and so on uh, with, with the fountain pen, because I have that color inside. Okay, and now there will be colors I haven't used on paper, so I don't know how they will feel. I have this um, another Wochen and Klinger color called Salix and this is Iron Gall ink and as I understand uh, when the ink is slowly drying up it becomes a little bit different color, kind of darker tone and it's um, kind of permanent and archival ink. It looks really light now. We'll see if it will darken up. Yeah, I feel in the beginning it's kind of super bright and vibrant and it kind of tones down a little bit and makes the color a little bit duller. I'm gonna put a little bit more on the top. Next we are going to use Rav Sienna by Diamond. And I haven't um, tried any of Diamond inks yet. So I'm also super curious how these will look. I feel all the colors I bought are like so me. <laughs> oh wow, yeah, I like this color. Um, and I like that it's different than sepia. This is like caramel color or something like that. I'm not perfect with swatching this one, but this is a lovely color. I guess if I will use it with fine fountain pen, it will be either this dark or a little bit darker. But it's super rich brown. Wow, really cool. Okay, next we are going to swatch Autumn Oak. And <laughs> to be honest, I fall for this color. This is like, the color name is just so autumny and cozy and I also saw the swatches online and I just felt this is like the perfect color I would buy. 
uh, for fountain pens. So let's see it on the paper. It's like orange, but muted orange or something like that. If I would describe this one, if we'll try to get second layer. Yeah, I feel this is like perfect color to write for like autumn days or something like that. And also like I didn't tell, but um, at the end of this, I'm gonna refill my second fountain pen with one of those inks um, because as you know I now have two fountain pens so the first one is filled with CP and I need to have second one option so this will be interesting I'm gonna now swatch Prussian blue and this also I saw online in one of the I think YouTube videos and I just felt this color was like the color I would love I hope you can see like the difference. So this is Salix color by Rohan and Klinger and this is Diamond Prussian Blue. Um, I feel uh, Salix is a little bit more vibrant and Prussian Blue is like with like super super slight green tint. I think that's that is like the, <laughs> the best uh, comparison I could give you. And now let's see the latest ink and it is called L Grey and this is one of the most popular greys in the fountain pen world I, I feel like every video I watch the L Grey from Diamond was like the most popular one and I really like the shade so I, I was hooked <laughs> by the review so I decided to give this one a go as well okay let's swatch it out Oh wow, it's super neutral. It's actually more neutral than I thought. <laughs> oh no, wait, it changes color a little bit as it dries. Can you see? It's a um, it's little bit reddish. I don't know if you can... Can you see it? In the beginning it's super neutral and as it dries it got like the slightest red violet tint to it oh, but this is a beautiful color wow i am impressed by all of these colors uh, so i'm gonna fill this fountain pen i think what i will do because now i have two fountain pens and i really like writing with fountain pens so why i decided to buy two fountain pens but was because one will be more for writing and another one will be more for drawing I will have two at the same time because I just I love colors <laughs> but I know that I need to write with them every day so they don't dry up or something so let's fill this one together like last time when I tried to fill this one um, you didn't saw how I did it but this time I have camera from angle so let's do it together I think I will fill it with L gray because it's super neutral and when I will run out of the sepia ink I can always change off one of these warmer tones L grey it is I open this lid and you see there is like this mechanism and you kind of take the ink like that but dipping it inside And then I'm holding with one hand and using this one to soak in the ink. I think this will do. So usually you need to have like some wet napkins around you to clean up the nib and around it. So I'm gonna write it out a little bit on just like a sheet of paper as you can see like this is not the best paper for fountain pens because it's kind of when you put the line like the paper just soaks up the ink and it's kind of splattering around but just for trying ink out it's perfect I think 
Now I'm gonna put this one and I will write with it up here. Um, so this is L Grey. I really like the name as well and L Grey is my favorite tea by the way. Definitely interesting color. I'm gonna sketch with this one. Okay, I want to fill this with ink. Um, I think I'm gonna go with Salix, which is blue ink. I'm gonna again dip it in and soak the ink up. You will see a little bit. Okay, you need to grab the towel again, as usual. Let's try right with this one. You can see that it's um, in the beginning, it's super light and then it becomes even darker and darker. This is Salix. Well, <laughs> let's hope I don't buy more inks and uh, more pens. <laughs> uh, I, I love these both actually, even though they're like different brands. Um, they both are really good for the beginners, I guess, because like these are not super expensive fountain pens, but they are from good brands and good quality. So this is how the nibs look. They are quite different. I'm going to zoom in now. So they have quite different like endings. I, I guess Caveco is more elegant, if you would say like that. And I think I will draw a little bit and show the process of drawing with you <laughs> to complete this video. Oh, and I'm gonna show this um, these colors for you in close-up. So if you want it as a reference or something like that, you can um, you can take a picture or so on. I'm gonna write the rest of it in pencil because I actually want to write the name and the brand with the color in the fountain pen. So right now I haven't filled my fountain pens with any of those three, so I'm not gonna write it with anything else. Yeah, I actually, what I really like about these fountain pens is that uh, I actually realized I'm writing wrong. <laughs> like, so usually you hold your pen like that, but sometimes I'm holding it like that and writing like that. I know it's not the like, the right way how to write but I don't know <laughs> and sometimes I write like that but with these fountain pens because there is like actually place to put your two fingers point finger and thumb you kind of I don't know I think it's easier this way to learn how to write properly with this one Kaveco one there are actually not only two in front, but one underneath, so it kind of helps this um, middle finger to stay underneath, like that. So I feel these will help me to write better, you know. Okay, I think let's go to the drawing part. I'm gonna draw in this um, portfolio sketchbook. This is Moleskine and uh, this is like this year's portfolio sketchbook. I have a lot of personal projects in this sketchbook and when it will be filled up I will do sketchbook tour but for now I'm gonna just open the last page and fill it up for you. I decided to have some of the Inktober prompts and make them into line art artworks with these fountain pens, so we'll see how it will go. I think I will start with something a little bit simpler. I don't know, maybe this is quite simple, like the, the witch. So I'm gonna put it on the side and chain, like try to draw without pencil, which will be really interesting. So I think I'm gonna start with this um, L gray color and <laughs> just go with it, you know. I really like this color. It's gray, but it's not like simple gray. There are so many tones hidden. This is so tricky to draw without pencil. <laughs> but I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna start with 
fingers. I used to do a lot of artwork just with line work and then I kind of realized that I'm more like color person and I like to add a lot of tones into my artwork so I haven't d drawn a lot of line work for a long time and I feel the fountain pens will give me like this new breath into my artworks which I really needed <laughs> because like you always need to try new things so I feel having discovered fountain pens it's like a big deal for me and I will try to use them as much as possible <laughs> it's like completely different feeling than anything else you know I actually really like, I really like how this looks and I really like, like, I don't know if you can see in this um, distance, but um, when you press harder, it's like, it makes like this beautiful line variation. And I also feel the fountain bands are performing quite good on moleskin paper. So this is like really interesting. Okay, I'm gonna try, try more. <laughs> um, I'm gonna, which one I will do? I love this one. So I'm gonna do the mushroom <laughs> girl. I don't know how you call it. Um, so how I will start. It's like um, drawing without, um, drawing without uh, eraser and pencil it means you need to plan where you will start the line so I think I'm gonna go and do the under part of the mushroom first then I'm gonna put the head up here I guess okay then there is like underskirt I guess that's how you call it <laughs> And these lines, I will try to not like add less pressure to this part so all the lines could be lighter and make like this beautiful effect <laughs> from different places. And these boots are like small dots. No, I'm not holding this right. I need to hold it like that. I can't believe I, I didn't know that I'm holding my pants completely wrong. Need to get used to this. And then I'm gonna add this one here and up here. I think I'm gonna color this part in. Yeah, and now I'm gonna just do like small mushroom circles. I'm not, not gonna color this in, but just make these ones. It's like mini circles around. I think this is pretty good considering that I'm not using pens <laughs> or erasers for it. I think I'm gonna change the <laughs> change the camera angle for a little bit and I'm gonna try the other pen. Okay, so the next one I'm gonna draw is this moth girl in moth costume. I actually I'm going to make pins with it, but I decided to make pins a little bit later so they will be ready in like January or February or March uh, so after Christmas because I have like super busy schedule right now and I will do it a little bit later than I expected 
but I realized I really want to do them, so either if no one will buy them, I still want to do it, um, because I really like the idea and I like how it looks, and I think it would be really great pin. So, okay, I'm gonna draw without erasers. I'm gonna put some music in the background and let you enjoy my drawing process with these font and pens, and I will see you in a bit.
I decided to fill this whole page up with um, how many is it? With 12 illustrations, and so far I'm like really enjoying just drawing without pressure and drawing with, without pencil and eraser. And even though I can see like mistakes and the drawings are like not completely perfect, they doesn't look like exactly how I wanted them to look. There is like somewhat charm in them, you know? So I really enjoy it. I'm so happy I have fountain pens now. I think I will do more line art. I really like line work. So yeah, uh, this is really amazing. I'm gonna continue drawing. This is how this page looks right now. Um, yeah, <laughs> just going to keep on going. I am officially obsessed with inks and fonts and pens and I don't know how I'm going to stop because I'm already thinking of buying new colors and new pens, so I don't know. <laughs> um, it's always like when you are really loving the art supply, you try it, you want to buy more.
Welcome to this outro part. If you like this video, please consider adding thumbs up. It uh, supports my channel and it can reach more people. And if you have any comments, leave them down below. Okay, um, I will see you next week for surprise video. I still don't know what it will be about because I am on my last week of deadline. So I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> but thank you for all the suggestions you mentioned in the comments in the last week. I am keeping them in mind. And yeah, okay, have a good day evening, morning, wherever you are, and I will see you next time. Bye! Bye 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 bye